Hi, I'm Rick. I'm an artist and Methodist minister working with The Haven. And I'm just uh, going to spend a few minutes uh, introducing you to a, a way of meditating and just a way of centering yourself that might bring a little oasis of peace in these um, strange and troubling times. Um, I'm here in my studio with a painting I did a few years ago. And this painting is, is based on a story uh, 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 of, uh, of Jonah, which I'm sure many of us are familiar with, Jonah. Um, it's, it's often characterised as a children's story, but it's really quite an unsettling tale when you read it. And really it's about this guy who is taken somewhere that he doesn't want to go. Uh, and here he is um, dragged down in the belly of a whale, down, down into the depths. It's disorientating, it's um, uncomfortable, uh, it's a really unpleasant experience and he's being taken somewhere that he really doesn't want to go. And in the world that we're inhabiting at the moment, the vast majority of us are in a place and a situation where we really don't want to be in. Um, we are confused, we're disorientated, we're flipped upside down and being dragged down into the depths. Um, and when we live out there, particularly uh, connecting to social media, Facebook, Twitter, and just the constant flow of news, it can be really distressing. And, um, and we, we kind of live out there in the chaos of the world and we have our own um, uh, practical things of life that we need to deal with, paying rent, where are we going to get the money from, particularly if those of us are a freelance artist, you know, how are we going to make a living? All this stuff is out there and all really important questions. How are our loved ones doing? All of this. As, uh, as the world seems this really chaotic and, and disturbing place. Um, so the, uh, the meditation I'm going to lead us in now, a short meditation, it's not going to solve those problems. We live in a difficult time for sure, and we are facing really challenging things. But this this um, this way of, of coming home to our bodies uh, will help us maybe just find a little oasis of peace in the midst of all the all the chaos, all the turbulent times, all the turbulent kind of ocean that's going on around us. Um, because whilst all this stuff is going on, I see. Um, spring is starting to emerge all around you know that the buds are just starting to come out the leaves are just starting to come out so whilst everything around us seems so chaotic and turbulent actually when we stop and wait there are deeper rhythms that are more primal and are more um more secure and more steadfast the moon will continue to wax and wane the tides will continue to come in and go out um the sun will continue to rise and again, while this won't solve our problems, when we tune into those deeper rhythms um, that are away from the kind of chaos and turbulent stuff that is changing every day, when we tune into those deeper rhythms, we can maybe find just these moments of peace and security. And one of the rhythms that we all inhabit is the rhythm of our breath, um, in and out, these are uncertain times. We're unsure of so many things. One thing we can be sure of is that we all inhabit a body <laughs> and we're all breathing in and out. So this is a really simple meditation to bring you home to your body. And um, if you have a faith, if, if, that, if the idea of God is part of your worldview, then use this to connect to God in whatever way you understand um, uh, that word to, to, to mean. If you don't believe in God, fine. Simply come home to your body and find that centering and peaceful moment. Okay, so we just sit quietly, have your feet resting on the floor, feel the chair supporting your weight. Start to become aware of your body. Move into this peaceful, sacred space. Feel your weight being held by the chair or whatever you're sitting on. Let yourself sink down so that you're really held in this moment, in this place. Notice any tension in your back and your shoulders and neck and allow yourself to relax 
but remain alert. Notice the weight of your hands. Notice any tension in your jaw. Notice any thoughts running around in your head. And we're going to focus on our breath and our breathing. And whenever we move into this meditative state, meditative place, let's be kind to ourselves. Even people who've been meditating for years um, always find distractions coming. So it's not a sign that you're doing it wrong when distractions come. When the distractions come, just notice the distraction and then let it float away. Don't fight it, just notice it. Say, oh, I'm thinking about my dinner, or I'm thinking about this or that, fine. And then let it float away. So pay attention to your breathing. Notice the sensation of the air flowing in and out. Don't force it. And as you breathe in, feel that flow of air filling your lungs. Notice the sensation of your lungs expanding, your ribs moving under your skin, your diaphragm moving down into your belly. All these sensations that we experience every moment of our lives but are so often unaware of. As you breathe in, breathe in life and peace. Breathe out tension and stress. Breathe in life and peace. Breathe out tension and stress. Let that breath go right down into your belly. And on the next breath, allow that life and peace to flow all the way down your legs to the tips of your toes. Breathing in life and peace all the way down, down your legs to the ends of your toes. And breathing out any tension and stress that you experience there. any distractions you experience, whether it's thoughts and feelings bubbling up from inside or sounds from outside. Just notice the distraction and then gently and kindly draw your attention back to your breath, the flow of air in and out. That's the anchor point in this moment, the anchor point in your body. Notice any sensations in your abdomen. Again, breathe in. Breathe in life and peace all the way down there, deep into your abdomen. And breathe out tension and stress. attention to your heart. Again, breathe in life and peace to your heart. Let your heart unfurl like a flower. Breathing out tension and stress that you find there. Breathing in life and peace. Your breath flow up to the top of your head. 
any frantic thoughts or worries running around your head like that hamster in a wheel. Just notice it and breathe out that tension and stress. Breathe out that frantic energy. Breathe in life and peace. flow down your arms to the ends of your fingers, feel it in the palms of your hands, breathing in life and peace. Breathing out tension and stress. And so sit for a few moments. And allow your whole body to breathe in life and peace. Feel it like refreshing water on barren earth, bringing life, rejuvenating, refreshing. And if you find a part of your body, an aspect of who you are, a part of your soul where there seems to be resistance and block, blockage to that flow, don't fight it. Just be gentle to yourself and hold that darkness, hold that blockness, that stuckness. Hold it in the flow of breath, of life and peace. And allow it to slowly unfold slowly dissolve in that flow of breath. With your breath, really come home to your body in this moment and this place. Be still. And be at peace because this moment holds everything you need. And stay with that breath for as long as you need to. And when you're ready, open your eyes, come back to this place and this moment. And know that this is an exercise you can do at any time when everything just seems like overwhelming, when you're being dragged down into those depths, just pause for a moment. Step aside, sit down, come back to that breath, that centering place. Come back to your body. So bless you. Peace be with you.